391. This has been a good start by the West Indies bowlers. They've looked very good. They've got to turn that into some wickets. Walsh getting the ball there and the ball passing the outside edge and definitely Matthew Hayden hitting his pad with the bat. I don't think there's any willow on leather contact there. really thumping into the pad well that was a good bouncer and once again quick it's interesting in it here Ian the, the ball before that delivery kept a little bit low this one's flown um, Michael Slater accepting the invitation to have a go at it a bit of a tennis shot and that one's kept low the ball before and just a fraction of sign of uneven bounce, which will be encouraging to the West Indies side, as they've got a reasonable total on the board. No! Well, there was a very big shout against uh, Matthew Hayden. Shout uh, four court behind, but quite obviously the bat hitting the pad. And the noise coming uh, after the ball was well past the edge of the bat. The noise coming from the willow, humping into the pad. Excellent shot. Didn't even bother to run, Michael Slater. Technique from Michael Slater. Going right forward and right to the pitch of the ball. Foot out to it, full follow through. Excellent placement and timing. That one's gone very close to leg stump after it uh, thumped into the pad. to go for the pull here maybe the ball not quite short enough and dropping extremely close to his leg stump yes. be a couple in that Marlon black has a long chase from fine leg It's a nice shot. Marlon Black got a hand on it, took some pace off it, and only get two. Nice straight drive. We saw in Brisbane Michael Slater almost getting organised before he was out for 54. First night he was. Well, here it is this time again. Good shot. Marlon Black pitched up, and he uh, got the footwork set and played down the ground. Another one of the indicators to me that Michael Slater's emotions run wild at the start till he gets set is that arm guard we've talked about it being a brace of some sort of description for tennis elbow it'll be through tension grip tension on the bat and that'll also become much more consistent and probably much lighter as he settles into some sort of innings but Probably an indication he's been working very hard this week on certain things that he wants to get into his technique. And uh, those forearm muscles are reasonably tired. Well, that one certainly bounced. In the end, Michael Slater played it pretty well. Not say it quite took off. It certainly bounced more than it should have. Pressure. Michael Slater's worked very hard on that. 
his top hand is nowhere near as far around as it used to be. Something he's worked on very hard this year, trying not to slice the ball quite as much. He's been known over the last few years for that top hand to come further and further around. He ends up slicing the ball, so he's tried to relax that top hand a lot more. What's a nice shot. It was wide. It wasn't really a square cut. He just pushed into the gap. Timed it beautifully. Similar ball to last over, which he got caught on the front foot with. This time, gets the weight back, even if he is jumping. Doesn't need great bat speed. Gets the timing through for four. If Marlon Black's going to be that wide, he needs to be a touch fuller. And if he's going to be that short, he needs to be a touch straighter. And that something in the variation department, like the ball before, will aim straight at Slater's chest. That one wasn't off the middle. He'll probably get three, though. That's the advantage of opening the batting. Long stick outside edges like that. The third men in. Three runs for them. No margin for error for Marlon Black. He gets the length right this time. Two mines with his footwork, Michael Slater. But still gets three. Ball's on about the right line length. Michael Slater back and across, feeling for it. Michael Slater did do well there. He didn't push too hard at it. Relaxed the grip at the last minute. Picked up three runs. All of a sudden, as Michael Slater does so well, he's on to 30. Last time I looked at his scorecard, he's around about 12. Very scores very quickly when he gets on a roll, Michael Slater. Right. 46 without loss, Australia. Hayden hasn't had a lot of the strike in recent times. Remember that test match debut he made at Johannesburg? Remember spending most of the time in bed watching him play that match? In and out of the Australian side quite a bit. That's the good news for him though. Here at Adelaide over four years ago, or in the corresponding test match, should I say, four years ago. He made that 125. That average slowly creeping up into the 20s now to get a lot higher than that. And that one bounced. Slater in the end once again played it quite well. In his 11th test match, Matthew Hayden. Mervyn Dillon needs to keep going the way Courtney Walsh sta started. Much better against the West Indies, Matthew Hayden. 43.28 his average. Just eight innings for 303 runs. Mervyn Dillon needs to inject himself just like Courtney Walsh did. Short, sharp burst, good pace, good control. Not asking much, am I? Well, that's a very good shot. That's a shot of a man who's actually seen the ball very well. That was a very, very late cut, something you don't see a lot of these days. And that brings up the Australian 50. This is a shot normally reserved for wicket keepers, because they've got no others. Michael Slater, such control. Really, is it these three balls Mervyn Dillon's bowled to him. He's really got his feet set. Now he's even deciding to dabble with some finesse. Hits it through the third. And there's only a gap, a small gap left there by Jimmy Adams for him. He knew exactly where it was. That's brilliant. He likes it. So does Matty Hayden. Yeah, Michael Slater did like that. It's not the shot that we see Michael Slater play a lot. He's generally a, a power player. He likes to hit the ball hard. Has played his best when he's not trying to hit the ball as hard as he sometimes does. That was a lovely shot, something you'd see many, many years ago. The old back cut, as I said, not a shot you see that often these days. They've left two gaps now, one either side of that floating man. Will Michael Slater attempt to either of those? That's, a, that's nearly a wide, and it's, in fact, called a wide. Then kept the umpire at this river end, the national umpire from India. And he had a good look at it, and thought it was well worth the call. Look at that seagull as well. 
and off put into everyone. Maybe they actually off put the bowler. Seagull came right across the middle of the wicket. Just as Mervyn Dillon was running into bowl then. May have put him off. How Michael Slater plays. We saw the back cut earlier. It's more like the Michael Slater I know. Sees a bit of width, go after it. Not a bad attitude, but the West Indies can learn something from this right now. Michael Slater's in a stage where he wants to hit the ball. He wants to either hit boundaries. Generally, if he hits the ball, he will hit a boundary. Take the ball away from him. Make him play those sorts of shots when he's in this mood. Almost T. If he can throw something up, and he may make a mistake. Going at something wide or something short, maybe the hook shot. Well, that's nice to hit as well. That's what happens when you try to alter your line. Drift on the leg stump. Michael Slater picked this up very, very cleanly and put it away. He goes to 38 with this. This is not taking the ball away from him, putting a half volley on the stumps. That's exactly where he wants him right wants them right now well, he does not have to work for those shots at all or for those runs <laughs> Mervyn Dillon's been good this series came back from a potentially bad injury in Brisbane he turned his ankle in the field three for 79 he took in that first test bounced back well he was off the field for some time with that sore ankle and again he's he's fought that and was unavailable for the Hobart match it was Michael Slater playing the hook shot Mervyn Dillon running around the boundary he slips on a water bottle probably full of water too by the way it's rolled his foot fought back from it well, that's perfect was full maybe just a little bit of outswing there drew Slater into the shot unfortunately for him in the West Indies no edge Michael, Michael Slater, Slater imitating a leg spinning action there but it had nothing to do with that you saw his back come through and try and work it onto the onside that would give him the feeling that it decked away from him a lot more than it did it's just a normal seam ball see his back turn to work it to mid on asking what Matthew Hayden, was it a leg cutter? Or was it the slower leg leg ball? Much better over this one so far. There's what Ian Healy's talking about. Matthew Slater just looking down the wicket, suggesting to his batting partner that he might be bowling a few leg cutters. I'm so sure it's that. I think it's just a bit of shape he's getting with the ball. He's holding the ball up. It seems good. A little bit of swing away from the right-handers. It's more so just good bowling, good line length bowling. Just a little bit of movement away towards the slips. Put your partner in a bit of dilemma, this. <laughs> Do you just go along with it? You know it wasn't a big leg cutter or anything. Looked pretty straight to you. You knew he turned his bat, but he's sort of saying, was it the leg cutter? And uh, yeah, so you put him off. Now do you say... Yeah, what it was, mate. Or do you put another thought in his head and say, nah, dead straight, what are you doing? But one over before tea. 